Hello, I'm Omar Fernandez, Director of Strategy and Operations at Kitla, and today I am here with Chris. Uh, Chris, can you tell me a little bit about what you do, um, you know, and how you first came across Kitla? My name is Chris Evans. I'm a principal DevOps engineer. When I first started, I saw uh, I was kind of learning the environment, and in terms of tooling, was a little disjointed. There was a headless SVN server. Uh, teams were kind of segmented into smaller groups, one of which had some like continuous integration processes using like a standalone tool. And it was really not homogenous at all. The code reviews were just like, hey, can you hop on this meeting call and I'll share my screen? Like there was no like interactive code review with a tool where you can just leave comments asynchronously. And that was one of the first things that I brought up. I was like, all right, we need to, we need to migrate, uh, you know, in our own time, our repositories to Git so we can have tooling that supports modern software development. And the first thing I said is, you know, I would like to do a bake off with all the, you know, the major uh, vendors that have platforms such as these. And we ended up going with GitLab. That's sort of where we are now. Uh, we're running GitLab. Uh, all of our code's 100% migrated. We've got uh, build configurations going good. And we're very happy with the product and looking to move forward. What were the ways in which you saw your team or you personally benefiting from just being 100% on GitLab and using GitLab for your DevOps cycle? Uh, there's a single source of truth is a big thing. Like, you know, we know everything we need all the time is in GitLab. GitLab's uh, open handbook is an absolute godsend every day uh, as, and I work in my job. Uh, it seems like anytime I have a question, I'm like, you know, what's the, what's the best way I should be doing this thing? Especially when it's like procedurally, policy-wise, like, you know, what's the best way to go about this? It's like, I bet GitLab has it in their handbook and nine times out of 10 it does. What do you feel when you're working in GitLab? Uh, joy, I guess, is the the, the best, the simplest word. Uh, the openness of GitLab. Uh, it's a very performant tool. It's well documented. It's it's just a pleasure to use. the The user experience is great. The UI is great. I can tell there's a lot of love that goes into the tool. Like it, it really seems like the uh, the the team that builds the tool uh, really embraces and takes pride in it, and it shows in the product. How would you say GitLab has benefited you and your career? I think it's benefited me tremendously. Um, I previously came from a position, started off as a network engineer. I ended up taking on some like sysadmin related roles, uh, but I was never really exposed to uh, the software development lifecycle just by the nature of the company I worked for. But just through um, taking that leap into choosing GitLab as like a project management platform, I was exposed to so many of the tools of the trade for these other industries, software engineering. Uh, and I was able to almost learn those in a way, not directly having to use them. Anything else that comes to mind that you want to share with us about your experience with GitLab and your GitLab journey? I hate the old like trope of best of breed, best of suite, but um, if, if I were to use that trope, GitLab is absolutely a best of suite. It does everything I want it to do, and for the most part, I think it does a wonderful job at all those things, uh, and it just makes my life as a DevOps engineer uh, way easier than it was before. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it, Chris.